Hey, uh, revo <laughs> reverse, how do you say? <coughs> reverse, reversely? I don't know why I'm struggling to say your name. <laughs> Glad you're excited to be here. Should I have Teferi in this deck? Probably. Probably should I have Teferi in every deck that can cast it in every format. Cool. Vindicated. St uh, stony silence as soon as you see relics and, uh, and trackers. It's worth it. Hey, Peace Bone. Alright, I'm assuming this is the matchups where we're gonna struggle to control matchups. We'll see. My hand is especially bad. Wow. Oh, Alright. It's not exactly what the dream, dreams are made of. Just gonna get the uh, Cry of the Carnarium into Oblivion. The Tardif, thanks for the resub. James MK Art. Thank you, thank you. Hope you both keep enjoying the stream. Alright, if they have a rich off set, I'm gonna lose anyways, I think. So let's go. Let's go, Craig, let's go. Put on the hat. I haven't worn the hat in a while. Oh, Ooh, I had in a while. The hat is not especially lucky, but maybe it's maybe it'll be source of inspiration, so we can break standard. So we established the fairy is the best card in the format. We should probably be casting the fairy. We had the. We had the person who won their MCQ was that deck yesterday in chat. They even subbed. I wonder if they played against Control. I forgot to ask them. I did ask them what they played against. Can't remember. Should I just scoop this game? I have very little respect for Grixis. As for midrange, I could see it. What's the best version of S for midrange? You don't think this is the best deck in standard? Hey, you're back. Yeah. Did you beat any control decks when you won your MCQ? You played against zero decks with Sweeper? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Let's move to sideboard. Let's see. They might have enchantments. Let's go full value. Try to have as many two for ones as possible in our deck. I wonder if I can self cast my spells without Paradise Druid. I guess we're about to find out. Do we have enchantments? They could have enchantments. Yeah. Well, when you're playing eight mana dudes, 
you're gonna be weak to sweepers. To build the deck differently, but then your draws wouldn't get busted. The two one was definitely good for me yesterday when I was playing against decks that didn't have sweepers. I mean, that's we get blown out by Chain Warner. I only played this deck a few matches yesterday. We beat Red twice, though. I got, um, I think, two games I got a Shalai and Kavi did with Spark Double. So I had two Shalais, so they're protecting each other and protecting me. It's really hard for Red to be double Shalai. <laughs> This game's looking good, though. Best deck is Grixis. I saw a bunch of people did really well with Grixis. Maybe I need to get greedy here. Let's see what they hit. Cry? Well, no, I don't even really want to hit my cheap cards. Alright. Garbage is such sweet card. It's like the perfect cards. Two free flying for four, gain free draw a card. You like? I mean, obviously it could be more push, but it's a pretty sweet spot. Maybe I'll play some Nexus. My my friend Amiel played Nexus in a PTQ, and he was really impressed. He only went 6 2, but you think he lost like good matchups too. He actually played Narset main deck, which I haven't seen too much. People usually don't play that card main deck, and he was playing a uh, Nissa in the sideboard. It's so upset whenever I see green decks and they don't have Nissa in the 75. It's gonna be my, my battle in this format. All oh, right, I played Guard Marriage into Narset, right? I didn't even realize. That's not great. Vine Mare? Yeah, I could play Vine Mare. Feels pretty targeted, though. You should always play Nissa in any main green decks. I don't know. The, I think I think Nissa is one of the best cards in the new sets. I think it's really messed up and people don't play it enough. Especially if you have if you have Krasis in your deck and you're not playing Nissa. If you have Krasis and Forests in your deck and you're not playing Nissa, I'm pretty sure you're making a big mistake. All the way up. And I feel like when you start playing Vine Mare in these kind of decks, you're kind of, it's like a patch. I mean, if you're playing an aggressive deck, you know, sure, play Vine Mare. But if you're just, this deck doesn't really need one Vine Mare, right? Uh, you, you fixed it. So what did you do? Biomancer. Biomancer Soul Diviner is a... Uh, oh yeah? Yeah, Adapt and Soul Diviner. That's pretty good. Card that's impressed me is the... But it's red. The Sweeper, the, the Amas Sweeper. Oh, I should have done it in response, that would have been so sick. Spark double the mystic. I didn't think about it.
As long as you think Vivian Zargbo is broken. It does seem pretty strong. It, it gets bounced though. It gets bounced by Teferi, both Teferi. I agree it's pretty aggressively costed. The fact that it's two mana only and the fact that it's tap X and not like tap one and X. Spark Double has been completely busted. What are the odds you just want to play for Spark Double? Is the new Battle Pass just insane? I might get the Battle Pass this year. I might have gotten the Battle Pass before, actually. No, I've definitely, I've definitely got that stuff before. I think I get it for TI usually. But I don't do the quests or anything. I should have battle passes for the MPL. Alright, I kind of like the way I sideboarded. Maybe Guard Mage is bad because of Narset. Shy is kind of clunky. Maybe Neoform is just act actually good. You usually don't want Neoform against deck with removals and stuff like grindy decks. What about the Wanderer? Prevent all non-combat damage of built. Hmm. I guess I should have Harpooner. They might have Thief of Sanity. They also have Crab the Carnarium, so having more two toughness creatures is kind of a big deal. Did I miss Lethal? P possibly. I wonder if, the, if, if like, I think there's a small chance Standard turns into, like, Mana Planeswalker, or just, like, kind of all Planeswalker decks. They all seem pretty strong. Who's played as per control and single-handedly lost to Argbo? Anyone? Is that card like the real deal? Is it as good as it looks? People have. Yeah, I boarded out a bunch of creatures, I guess. That's kind of good beats. Dalsimir out in this matchup? Hmm. They're playing Crab to Carnarium and Spot Removal. I think you want to keep most of your two for ones. You can't really kill them very fast, so. I think I want to keep in the grindy cards. Hmm. Arbo seems messed up. Man, 
the face when you realize the Hearthstone players are better than the Magic players. We're not that great. It's pretty decent, especially if we hit. Oh, shocker, he's playing eight Planeswalker. Wow. You're playing eight Planeswalker, Krasis, and no, no Nissa. Terrible. Terrible big building. Dude, trust me. No, I mean, don't trust me. Nissa is terrible. If you want to play the, if you want to win fandom, uh, fandom legends again, don't put Nissa on your deck. Dude, the card's so good. It really, it really is like, why did I counter that? That was a mistake. Oh well. I wasn't paying attention. I was too too upset at at the lack of Nissa in the uh, show's deck. Twenty four lands, four J Light, four Branch Walker, four Elves. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if you can play four colors, like Salt Eye with Teferi, basically, and a few other white cards. Yeah. Yikes! Just when I thought we were gonna win. So close. We're actually in decent shape. And Teferi bounce the token, get rid of Liliana. Looks like they're a bit flooded. Never mind. They have the nuts. No, actually, I'm in decent shape still. Can I kill both Planeswalker? Sormu. 10 and 0 is blue white. Narset plus Vendelium to you. I think you should play the Fairy. Also, you'll have a hard time uh, selling me on Terminus. But the rest of the list looks pretty good. That's a lot of counter spells. Five two mana counter spells. I was down to a few counter spells. Yeah, I don't know. I don't agree with these choices. Wait, what? How did he get another token? What happened? Oh, they used. Uh, hmm. Unfortunate. Should I hold my uh, creature so I can go... I can minus the token, draw a card. Seems bad that they're probably just gonna plus one again. Tough one. I'm surprised they went for that and not another plus. Seems kind of loose. Don't worry, I got you. Alright, this one's looking pretty good. Kedra has just messed up magic card apparently. I'd have not necessarily. Get, I mean, it looks pretty pretty strong. We've been winning most of our games on the back of a catcher. The guy who won 
who made the deck and won the MCQ said it was secretly in a Ketra deck. Vanifar was just kind of his direction. I don't get it. Is she like holding her bow like in her back or something? It looks like the drawing. I can't really tell the head. I don't know. Kind of confused. Yeah, for some reason to me it looks like she's holding it. It'd be kind of stylish shooting a bow uh, that way. Alright, let's get rid of Nico B. Does the kid just not have a face or something? Do the gods not, not have face? She's doing the no look. The like shooting the bow in my back, no looks. Oh, <laughs> they bricked. Wow, a Ketra plus a... Uh... <laughs> a Ketra plus full of my stick is nice. Hey Luke, is Mono Red the best deck? No need to search. What about I counter your dude, I get a free 2 and a 4-4. Four four. I think that's fair. Yeah, open and think it's fair too. Alright, control, easy. It wasn't as for control, but... I still haven't changed a single card to the deck, which is pretty rare, honestly. I usually I have these... But I don't know, the deck looks really solid. It has its flaws, but I think it's fairly well built. I was talking about more spark doubles, maybe. Yellow hat pigeon, yellow hat pigeon. Giorgio, hats off, thank you so much. Speaking of yellow hat pigeons, got two little eggs on the balcony. Yellow hat, yellow hat mama pigeon is back. Yellow hat pigeon, yellow hat pigeon. Zalon of Edge. Thank you so much for uh, the Twitch from Resub. 11 months with the yellow hat pigeons. Are they supposed to just spark double a uh, paradise druid?
Hello Diva. Holy sub, thank you so much. Hello Diva thinks that if she subs to my channel, I'll take it easy on her uh, on Thursday. Are you gonna bring a real deck, Holy Diva, or are you gonna try to meme on us? Try to beat us with memes? I must be scared? Why am I scared? Why would I be scared? Right, it's just a strong up awful matchup, right? Not, I don't think so. I think we beat it twice yesterday. I mean, I kind of had a not low drawing that had like two double chain wheeler and I drew all one toughness creatures. No sideboarding? I don't think so. I don't think I want a sideboard in this matchup. If you're playing standard right now, you should probably not be sideboarding a ton when you, you when you play against Red. If you're sideboarding a lot when you play against Red, you're probably building your main deck wrong. Does anyone disagree? Am I missing something? I mean, I'm not saying you should be sideboarding zero cards when you play against Fred, but... I'm gonna say the elves, they're gonna be good with Oketra. I'm just gonna go Oketra and then play free creatures to turn after that. How many Oketra does show have? <laughs> yeah, I was looking at tickets. Right, oh. Only one? Hmm. Only one I catch what seems kind of loose. I think Guard Mage is better than Bell Haunt. As a magic card, mm, free for the discard to gain free. It's easier to cast, yeah, probably. I mean, obviously, I can't cast Bell Hunt in this deck. I don't know if it's exactly for mono red. The four toughness is pretty big deal. Yeah, this is tough. No, I actually have Knight of Autumn in here, and it's not that tough. Big fan of Tristani, yeah, Tristani seems... I like Tristani too. Hey the Mighty Kuma, thank you so much for the 8 month support. Oh, I thought... I, I even checked... I thought I checked and it tapped... Uh, I guess it didn't highlight very well. Alright, what's the deal? Should I, should I take two to play an elf or not? Goes down to 11, they're at 14. Not sure. I got good good point, you can bugler into guard mage, which is a pretty big deal for this deck. Yeah, I mean, if it's a sideboard card for red, I think maybe Bell Hunt is a bit better. Because it just blocks Chain or my right? I haven't played with Bell Hunt much, actually. Does 
But two life is debatable. Feels like the only way I can lose this game is if they burn me out. Yeah, I just need Harpooner as a cheap blocker actually, and I can board out. WG, eh, resetting, no, resetting the dude is actually kind of nice. Spark Devil, no, Spark Devil has been really strong. Also, if you ever spark double a Shalai's just game, the dream. Paradise Ruse into the Shane Warlord world, yeah. I agree, it's it's highly debatable. Between sweepers and chain whirlers. The thing is you have free Oketras and you have Vanifar, so your creatures keep value in the late game, like way more than in other decks, so it, it definitely makes up for the fact that you get right by sweeper sometime. Hey King Art, what's the best card in standard? Enlighten us. The fairy. Is this what people mean when they say ban Neo for? Yes. Wow. Well. Show called it. Love Strastani, he said. That was in a Ketra. Couldn't even cast it. <laughs> so I could double block. Hey, Ginger was a party of 69. Winks, winks at the camera. What's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome. I must be too old and jaded because, uh, the whole, the whole 69, whenever you get ranked 69 or so, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's funny once, but when everyone does it, it's like, yeah. Um, how greedy should we be? Yeah, I think I win if I do that. Just get Vanifar. Free five two, they can't even have a coil it. You know you're gonna untap with Vanifar. Oh you can get spark double with bugler too. Alright, I'm gonna go for the combo. Shall I spark double? This is kind of scary. Alright. It's funny, it's like two days in a row someone claimed that the red matchup was unwinnable. Yesterday was when I was playing the, the blue white planeswalker deck and today was when I lost literally like the good old one sample games one game sample size. 
to see me lose one game to red where things don't go very wrong, you're like, wow, this matchup looks unwinnable. And then I end up winning the match because the matchup is indeed not unwinnable. Lock him out, lock him out, lock him out, lock him out. Salt eye for life. Happy anniversary to us. Thanks for the 12 months uh, sub. All right, so they can attack Phoenix and then finish me off with Chain Whirler. Come back, dude. Wasn't done yet. Oh well. Just only one fibr. Baby Teferi in this deck. It's tempting, right, to just throw Teferi into every deck. But you have Bugler. <sighs> Your creature count pretty high. Tulsimir, Friend to Wolves. Wow, an original. What a great name. Salt. I wonder if it's PPD. PPD enjoying a uh, well, off turning off after uh, after crushing Vichy Gaming this afternoon. Oh, we're playing in the Planeswalker deck. I think our deck might actually be decent against it. I guess they have a bunch of sweepers, but maybe we can play around sweepers. I'll see. Um, I'm not 2 KMMR, I'm like almost 4 KMMR. Getting bad mathed. 2K. All right, how do we, how do we fight Cleansing Nova? Can I deputy my own permanent? No, of course not. Can I new form into something sweet? Who's my prediction for the major? I mean, if I had to bet money, you know, at even odds, I would just bet on secret, right? Who else are you gonna bet for? I mean, I'm hoping it's either NIP or OG who wins. That's who I'm rooting for, but... I mean, OG did 2 VP. Maybe they're just back on their next level. All right, let's see.
Maybe I should plan a way that... Hmm. Should I plan a way to just... Maximize my odds of winning if they don't have a Cleansing Nova? Or can I beat one Sweeper, maybe? Well, I guess we're about to find out if I come close to beating one Sweeper. Cards gas. Oh, sick! You finished uh, your Who Harry MTG's uh, guess on his podcast? As a low bringer versus sweepers. Yeah, I mean, it might be the one turn you need. Hmm. I think I'll just play Tristani first. Yeah, I've been, I usually don't watch a lot of games, but I've been pretty bad lately. I watch a lot of games this major. Ah, yeah. So you're playing a beatdown version of the deck? Alright, it's a different deck, okay. Unclean territory. I'm known for my excellent type. Elf, elf, spark double. My yeah, I don't know man. I mean decklist looks solid honestly. I'd probably play four pal collector. Alright, are we playing the Spark Double Tech? And F Cleansing Novine Hand? Obviously, like, super uphill battle, but... I'll They only played Neoform was just bad. I could have played Deputy and killed both Foggers. Could I have done that? I don't know, my reasoning was that I needed... I thought they were going to cast Cleansing Nova and I felt like I needed a land. They get to Ultimate to Fairy next turn. Alright. I'm not going to bring my Planeswalker, just basically because of Sweepers, trying to be a bit less weak to Sweepers. Which cards are bad against Sweepers? My whole deck, obviously. I have counter spells now. I think I want to leave in all the Padras to try to out-tempo them. Card Mage is pretty mediocre in this matchup. It's too slow. The card advantage is like almost irrelevant, I think. Does the fairy make sense? Not really. Bouncing Gismina tokens is nice. Kind of relevant. And I'm not going to have instant speech though. Not a big fan of Deputy. Just the reason I'm not a... I think it's bad when modern humans have Deputy against blue-white control after sideboard. It's like a losing proposition. And this sounds bad. You want to keep a... This is a matchup where you can kind of mulligan aggressively. I guess they get baffling in and prison realm after sideboard. So that's that's bad for us.
I want to try Ty Staker in that blue white planeswalker deck. Has anyone tried Ty Staker in that deck? Seems like you're lacking a few two drops, and Ty Staker is like kind of nice. It's like okay against everyone, it's just pretty solid two drop. I was looking at two drops for the deck, and there's nothing else, right? I mean, there's Kalos Dismissal, but I don't get the Kalos Dismissal hype. I mean, I think it's a fine card. I don't know. I feel like you can do better. That was a good draw. Main deck baffling ends. Yeah, that's bad against control, right? It's just a good blocker too. I mean, it's not the greatest two drop against red, but it'll help a bit. The deck is really good against controlled game one, but it's really good against controlled game one because you're not playing cards like Baffling End. I mean, you could afford a few a few bad cards, you know, but. I'm sure there's a point where it starts becoming not so good against control. I should I get Mystic in case I had Spark Double? Yeah, that's a good point. To be fair, if I copy the Lost with Spark Double, I draw two cards, right? That sounds pretty sick too. Bugler or District Guide? Probably just District Guide, right? Just more lands. Oh, actually, I should have gotten double white. Oops. Find a place. Um, people have asked that if you can see all, all my decks over the past few days. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you go on the Cardboard Live. I'll need to figure it out. Phone's done charging. Smino. Which other deck? I was, I was playing another deck. I was playing the bow in another deck and it was like kind of equally ridiculously good. I guess I'll take Tristani. I don't want to commit more creatures to the board and the catch what makes you do that. LSV rated the rated but 1.5 in limited. Yeah, it seems a bit low. Uh, did I not play a land? I did lose the one game. Uh, the one game of limited. I had Vivian's Argo, I think, but I think it was more the rest of my deck that was the problem and not the Argo. I think Bo's probably kind of card that's pretty swingy and limited. Sure seems unbeatable this game. Why but in response, I was trying to hit Spark Double or Frail Mystic. 
It was like kind of a gamble, definitely. Man, this is the kind of game almost makes me want to play like four district guide and some Argos in the main deck. Oh yeah, I could. Oh, it's a legendary artifact. Yeah. I was gonna say I could play second one. All right, Terry doesn't do much. Oh. Right, five, eight. You've heard of follows. Welcome, everyone. I can't try as lethal. Maybe it was greedy. Maybe I should have just grabbed district, district guides. All right, you don't have a sweeper. <coughs> hmm. All right. I thought I had a choice. I thought I had a choice between uh. What? Isn't it a make? Can I choose to just let them have it? No, I am not making when God of Eternal Contract dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library first from the top. Why did it not give me a choice? Is it bugged? Oh, there's a button decline. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I don't. Uh, I want it in my deck, I guess. But what are they casting? Our sets. It's bugged. It's just bugged. How many sweepers have they played? Just the one. How many mystics have left? Only one. Why did we do it in response to our set? Yeah, I guess maybe I'm playing loose. I don't know. I'm trying to uh, hit frail mystic, but I didn't realize I only had one left in my deck. Man, I'm gonna lose this game. Not well equipped to deal with nuisances like you. I draw an enemy on tap. How lucky I feel. Dude, how many times when it will end? Oh, that was a disaster.
Do we know a lot of the cards? I feel like I've been shuffling my deck a bunch, but maybe not. 